from Fallout 3 and have decided to continue to Fallout New Vegas. But with all of that being said, let's get in here and start a new game and see what the Mojave has in store for us. Atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start.
Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Well, our name is Sunday. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Well, talk other than the fact that you made me a male, I think you did pretty good. The only thing I want to change, actually, oh, no. I like that one. Uh, it's her hair color. I think I like the rosewood. Yep, there we go. I like the Wendy the Welder look. And yeah, I think she looks pretty cute. So I am done. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right. I can just walk right over here. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. All right, well, let me get to the end here, and I'm going to go ahead and set up our character. Now, I do have a pretty good idea of what I want to do here. And we definitely are going to want some luck. So I'm definitely going to be putting two points into luck. Seven of luck is going to help us out quite a bit once we start getting into the casinos. And I think I want to go for a high intelligence character. So I'm going to take one out of strength and definitely put it in there. And maybe I think I'm going to take one out of in perception because we can boost our perception with articles of clothing. So I think that looks pretty good. Kind of a high intelligence, very lucky, general run-of-the-mill character. I'm pretty happy with that. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. Mm. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Sure, Doc. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. I'm just going to go ahead and run right through these guys because I'm going to be changing them anyway, so it doesn't really matter House. what I choose here. I'm just going to be changing it. Night. Then last one. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I love this. Two bears high five in. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote. Let's see how bad I, I did. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Sure, let's see how bad we did. Science, sneak, and energy weapons. No, we're going to go with guns and speech. I think that is going to do me pretty good. Everything else looks pretty good. Lock the 14. Okay. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I would certainly hope not. And for this, we're definitely taking four eyes and good nature. I think those are the best ones out of all these. I don't think there's anything here. Although I sometimes do take small frame. 
Yeah, no, I think we're definitely gonna stick with that. Yeah, I'm done. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. All right, so I am gonna go and leave the place drop before we meet him at the front door. So give me a few minutes, guys. And before I leave, I definitely want to repair up the submachine gun and grab any sunset sarsaparillas that are in there. And uh, the last thing is we are going to create some stem packs. I think that is going to help us out quite a bit. Alright guys, well I've already gotten everything else that we need out of here, so let's meet up with Doc. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Mm. Was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Well, thank you for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I certainly hope I don't, and we're not doing hardcore mode. But before I do leave, I think I expect you'll be wanting outside after being cooped up for so long. But if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. Well, I'm going to go for the speech check. Isn't it customary for a doctor to prescribe follow-up medication? Of course. You've been through a lot. Ain't much, but these will do you right if the pain clears up. Great, and I'm in a lot of pain, Doc. Can you spare a few more? Of course. You've been through a lot. Ain't much, but these will do you right if the pain flares up. Nice, so we got an additional five stem packs out of him. All right, Doc, thank you very much. You take care now. Yep, and then I'm going to walk out the front door here, and all the DLCs are going to load in. Oh wow, okay, so a bit of a blurry look at a Good Springs, but here's Old World Blues, the reunion on Lonesome Road, and the uh, Trails Expedition. Nice. Oh, wow, the wasteland looks good today. I'm very happy to be popping out. Looks like we have Victor here. Let's go ahead and talk with him real quick. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Well, I don't think I've ever seen a robot quite like you. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Well, thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Victor, do you know who those men were that attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. All right, well, how did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. How did you end up in Good Springs, Victor? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. All right, Victor, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Happy trails! And same to you. All right, guys, whoop, and Gunrunner's Arsenal. Thank you, we should have one more DLC. Just want to check a few of these mailboxes real quick. 
see if we can find any magazines that are going to help us out. Now, I will do all the looting in between episodes here, because there is quite a bit that I can pick up. There is the Sierra Madre, so that should be all of our DLCs. But for now, we are going to head in to the Prospector Saloon here and talk with Miss Sunny Smiles, see what she wants us to do. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Well, I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine on locksmith. If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. All right, good to know. I'll take a look at that safe when I have a chance. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Well, I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Well, Dog Mitchell said that you could teach me to survive in the desert? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright, sounds good, Sonny. Alright, I'm gonna just let her bobble on out of here. And I am gonna do the sneaky sneaks right over here and pick up fix some things. And then we can go ahead and safely follow her out of the building. There we go. And there she is. So I'm just gonna follow her up here. Alright, Miss Sunny, I'm here. Now, see the sarsaparilla okay. bottles on the fence there? Mm-hmm. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Sure, I can do that. That's the right idea. Our aim Look is the here. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice there shot. We go. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure, I can do that. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. All right, Sonny, I'll meet you over there. You go ahead and take off. There goes Victor rolling out of town. Maybe he just kind of like patrols the place. Possibly keeps it safe, keeps people from going in directions they shouldn't be going. I don't know. Victor's an odd little character. All right, Sonny, I have made it over here. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? I did. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Alright, not a problem, Sonny. Alright, let's go see if we can get the jump on them. Hopefully we can before they see okay, us. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Definitely could use a sniper rifle here. Seeing the little critters though. Yep, there we go. There he is. There we got him. And the third one, or second one. There we got him. Nice. All right, I'm gonna actually switch over to this gun. I <laughs> kind of like it a little bit better. All right, let's go talk to Sunny again. See, you're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I can come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Sure. All right, I'll follow you. Sort of. Gonna just kind of bobble over this way and. I do believe there is a settler or a Good Springs resident that's going to need some help. We're going to shoot you. Yeah, you just, Sonny, you get them. 
I'm gonna go down here and try and put this lady down here. Get them off! Yep, I'm trying. Gravy. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. I wasn't talking I'm there. That's over. You okay? Hey there. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. And then now we have been accepted by the good people here in Good Springs. Poor lady. Actually, this. I'm going to go ahead and take all this. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I don't think our survival skill is high enough. But we can definitely use the money. Let me see if I can find Sunny here. She might still be up here. Hopefully her and Cheyenne were able to take care of the other guys. Where are you going? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Well, you know what? It couldn't hurt. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, not a problem. Now, I know if I go over by that tower over there, I can get the Xander root and Brock flower all in one go. But I do kind of like going over to the schoolhouse and picking the lock on the safe, so I tend to do it this way instead of heading over that way. I am going to come up here. You okay, Cheyenne? You okay? Yeah, I think she's okay. I don't know why she's just sitting up here. Normally she sticks really close to Sunny. Grab that. I wanted to grab the shovel before I head to that cemetery, though. And then I'm going to go and check these other two geckos. I don't think I cleared out their inventories. So I'm pretty sure I didn't. Right now, I just want I did. I just want um, some stuff to be able to sell to the vendor here in town. Wow, I got a lot of gecko eggs. Normally I only get like one. Guys, here we go over at the school. It looks like we got some little buggos we need to take care of. Let's see if we can get these little critters. These things are so hard to hit. There's one. Uh oh. There we got him. They are like really hard to hit. Alright, let me grab these really quick. And even though we only need one, I might have to all three of them. Let's get inside. Alright guys, let's hurry up and clear out the rest of these little mantis buggo thingies in here. There we go, there's number one. So we got another one coming in. Where are you? Uh, let's go for the... I know. Uh... For the shot to the head. Goodness, we missed him? Oh no. There we got him. That was another one. Good night. These things are so hard to hit. Alright, you. Got ya. Should be one more, I think. Yeah, I can see the red at the bottom there. Uh, where are you? Come here, you. There you are. Oh, you decided to go over here, huh? Got him. Alright, nice. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Good morning. Another little sunset sarsaparilla. Make sure our gun's related. Don't like it when my gun's not related. Alright, so let's grab that bobby pin and we're gonna grab a programmer's digest. But we should be able to open this up. We are not quite high enough level to open the safe with a lock of bobby pin right now. There, we finally got it. Gravy, that one took quite a while to get. 
and we got a level up. Nice. So let's just engage the lock and back out and do our level up. Well, I definitely want to boost my lock pick up to 20 at least. I want to get my guns up to 30. And I think I'm going to put five more into speech. And no, I kind of like one. Let's um, put one into repair. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's continue. And for this one, as badly as I would like to take intense training, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Black Widow. I like that additional 10% against males. Yeah, I am done with that. Alright, let's go ahead and get our reward out of here. And stealth boy is a nice touch there. Oh, nice. I'll take all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly loot around here. I don't think there's all that much in here. At least not from what I can remember. Yeah, nothing there. But I do know that if we check over here, we do get a magazine on the floor. I think the main prize actually here is that safe. Let me make sure none of these desks have anything in them. They all seem to be empty or broken. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here for us this, on this occasion. Mm, sure, I'll take a $12 egg. We'll probably get, what, about $4 out of it. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't know why I'm sneaking. We're in town. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to the schoolhouse and get this um, frog flower that we need for Sunny. Probably going to grab a few of these mailboxes along the way. See if they've got anything in them. And yeah, there we go. Lad's life. These mailboxes are really good for that sort of thing. I already top checked Doc Mitchell's. And like I said earlier, I am going to go ahead and go through the houses in between episodes. Ooh, nice. Except for that one. I will probably go into that house in the next episode. Yeah. We need Wonder Glee for um, weapon repair kits. And I wouldn't mind trying to grab some of that. Get a couple of weapon repair kits made up. And I think we need duct tape too. I believe it's wrenches, duct tape. Um, is it Wonder Glee? Do we need Wonder Glee for it? And scrap metal, isn't it? I don't know. It's been quite a while. Is that my... Now, sometimes there tends to be a bark scorpion that comes down the hill here. Let's see if we can get a good drop on him before he gets a gets a one on us. No, I'm not seeing him on this occasion. Maybe Victor took care of him. Nope, there he is. We can get another shot on him before he gets us. Well, we just got an unlucky drop on that. He happened to see us before we saw him. Kind of a cute little feller. I don't like how that was stuttering. I think I'm going to definitely drop a quick save there. And nothing on him this time. And I'm definitely going to get back over to my pistols. I do like um, taking out the blood clouds up here with that beautiful day in the wasteland. Of course, it's always a beautiful day in the wasteland, too. And now we have the bobbliness of the bloat fly. I do really just like the bloat flies. They are so close to hit. Okay, there's one down. There's two down. I do 
you left. Which one are we going for? I think we'll go for you. You gonna calm your baubles? Yep. And one more. Nope. There we got him. He goes in and just a little bit low. And looks like he fell right by what frog flower that I need. I've never noticed that light there before. Funny. So there's our rock flower we needed. I don't think I have a high enough survival skill to be able to make any blood flat sliders and blood fly meat. It's not really worth all that much. I'm going to pick up this distinctive cigarette. Don't think I need my gun anymore. I think we're pretty safe up here. But I do want to bobble in here and psycho out yeah, there we go so let's go ahead and loot the rest of these graves really quick I'll definitely take any ammo that we can get the more ammo the better there we go some bottle cap from this occasion I will take those because some of that stuff's pretty good I do want to head over here and pick up the snow globe you have found a limited edition Mojave Landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them, and indeed they do. So we want to find as many of them as we can. Do you believe there's, what, five of them in the regular game? And then one for each DLC? I, yeah, I checked you. And I got you. Is there only four graves? Did I get this one? No. Ooh, another varmint rifle so we can repair up the one that we have. That's a good find. There we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Now maybe we won't uh, have so many problems trying to load our gun. It won't like catch or anything. That's not what they call it, I know. But in the vault girl world that's what it's called <laughs> yeah forgive me guys i am not versed in the proper technology of um, guns apparently nor much of anything else it seems all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and bobble back over to sunny and then i'll be there hey little buddy get you a cutie pie all right, Sonia, I have everything you needed. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All right, I can definitely do that. And all I got to do is come over here and do that. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, Sonny, that sounds good, but I think we are going to do that in the next episode. Definitely going to meet a few more of the good people here in Good Springs. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.